It looks like a blue jay, but this bird is something brand new. Researchers with UT Austin revealing a rare hybrid. Part blue jay, part green jay, and discovered in Central Texas. KXN's senior science reporter Eric Hendrickson takes a closer look at what created this unique bird. Introducing the Gru Jay. It was discovered just outside of San Antonio. A little less blue than dad, but with mom's mystique. It has a black face patch that's very similar to the green jay. It might not be super noticeable to your average backyard birder. Brian Stokes is a PhD candidate at UT's Department of Integrative Biology. In 2023, he received reports of the bird, which he then photographed. We have only seen one bird. Right now, it is considered anomalous. Blue jays and green jays don't typically mate, sharing a common ancestor more than 7 million years ago. We feel that it, it really is kind of a unique event, a bellwether, if you will, that, you know, uh, environments are changing very rapidly. Professor Timothy Kitt says green jays used to live closer to the Mexico border, but changes to the climate have driven them north. One of the things that we were wondering is, when they encounter blue jays, would that stop this expansion, that they would be antagonistic to each other? Turns out they um, uh, were not. This was a result of that there were very few blue jays around and very few green jays in the same place. Now that we've seen one, could there be more? Well, maybe. But this bird spotted again this summer may not find love among its relatives. The bird was interacting with blue jays, so there might be some interest on its side, but you know, this could be your proverbial ugly duckling where uh, the bird isn't the most attractive to its, you know, to blue jays in the area or green jays in the area. Now don't expect to see the gru jay here in central Texas. While the blue jay is common to our area, the green jay isn't. In downtown Austin, Eric Hendrickson, KXAN News.